Today we are going to look at LinkedIn Analytics, why they are important, and what they can tell you about your social media campaign. So why do LinkedIn Analytics matter? Well, they can track engagement and you can determine which postings uh, have the most engagement and what kind of engagement they produce, whether they're clicks, comments, or shares. You can determine the demographics. Uh, this ensures that you are targeting the right audience. And finally, you can compare how your company stacks up against your competitors. On LinkedIn, basically, uh, basic company pages are free and offer some analytics tools. So what can you track? You can track your postings, data regarding your followers, and data regarding your page visitors. Let's take a look at some of the company page analytics. If you have a company page on LinkedIn, there are several data points that are tracked. Like Facebook, you can track analytics for all of your posts. You can see the number of impressions that your post had, the number of clicks, the number of interactions, and the level of engagement that your, that your post had. If you prefer, you can look at all your posting analytics as a list view, where you can see them all together. And you can look at the uh, post that had the most engagement. You can use this information to copy or do similar posts to try to increase the level of engagement that your uh, posts are having. LinkedIn also offers options to look at the reach of your post or the engagement. So if I wanted to see the number of likes we had over the last 15 days, I can measure it that way. And we can go by comments, shares, followers acquired, and percent of engagement. On your company page, you can also track the number of followers that your company page has and their demographics. So here we have the total of followers that our company page has. And on this side, we show different types of demographics. So this view shows us their seniority level. But let's say I wanted to see how many of our followers were our employees. By clicking on the employee demographic, I can see that 20% of our followers are Santa Fe Public Schools employees. Finally, I can view analytics about all of our career page visitors. This is really interesting because this data shows us how visitors link to our page. Uh, perhaps they saw one of our jobs posted and linked to our company page after they clicked on our job. Maybe they were looking at a profile of one of our employees and they saw that they work for our district and then clicked on our district. So these different areas measure how someone came to, to click to our career page. We can also view demographic data for uh, all of our company page visitors as well. So if the company chooses to buy LinkedIn Recruiter, there are additional analytic tools that are available to them. Uh, in LinkedIn Recruiter, you can track recruiter usage, job analytics, and in-mail analytics. Under Usage Detail, a recruiter can track their searches, save profiles, and their in-mails. So you conduct a search when you're looking for uh, an individual that meets certain requirements that you're looking at. So here you can see the number of searches that you performed, uh, and this gives us a, this is the past 30 days. You can see if you've saved any profiles and if you've selected to get alerts about additional profiles. You can see how many profiles you actually viewed and how many you saved. Uh, 
uh, and then you can track your in-mails. But we're going to get more to that later. For the job analytics, uh, the basic view tells you how many jobs you've posted, in, and this view is of the last 30 days as well. You can see that we posted 33 different jobs. There were 310 people that viewed those positions, and we got 37 people that applied for our positions. Finally, we're rated uh, on our applies per view. So uh, just as a reminder, in-mails are messages that you send to LinkedIn members to try to get them to apply for your company. So it's basically uh, the internal email system within LinkedIn. So these are uh, really important analytics details for recruiters that tend to send out a lot of emails. So on this detail, you can track the number of messages that you sent. Uh, when someone on LinkedIn gets a message, they can either choose to accept or decline that message. Uh, and so you can see here we get rated on the number of accepted and declined messages. Uh, but overwhelmingly, most people just don't respond to those messages. So they neither accept or decline. We get rated on our acceptance rate uh, and then also on our resp response rate. So that's uh, who accepted our emails, read it, and then sent a response email. And then finally, this can tell us how many of those emails we uh, utilized a template that we have in our system. This tells us how effective those messages that we're sending out and if they're being responded to by the people that we're sending them to. Uh, so here are the sources that I used uh, for the presentation today. And thank you.